everyone, this is Mr. Richmond, and for this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do an example of slide number two of your most recent class kick assignment on ions, isotopes, and nuclear symbols. So at this point in time, I'm assuming that you know how to count protons, neutrons, electrons in both a neutral and a stable atom. I'm also going to assume that you know how to draw appropriate Bohr models for each of these as well. If you don't understand how to do those skills, I would strongly encourage you to go back and watch my YouTube tutorials before attempting this assignment. So I gave you the answer for number one, but this may not be enough information to help you understand how I arrived at these answers. So I'm going to walk you through how to do beryllium as well to hopefully clear up any misunderstandings that you have on this assignment, or at least this portion of the assignment. So I'm going to find beryllium element symbol BE on my periodic table. It's atomic number four. In a neutral atom, the amount of positive charges are canceled out by the amount of negative charges, or in other words, protons are equal to the amount of electrons. So my atomic number of four tells me both protons and electrons in a neutral atom. I'm going to go ahead and insert a text box under protons, put four, and then I'm going to insert another text box under electrons, add another four. The amount of neutrons, I want to round my nearest whole number to nine minus four, my atomic number four, to get five. So I'm going to insert another text box for my neutron column and enter five. The amount of space I have to work with is a little small in here, so I'm going to go ahead and use my drawing tool. You should know that both protons and neutrons go in the nucleus, so I'm going to try to write 4 in the nucleus and then 5 in the nucleus for neutrons. All right, so I have two, I'm sorry, I have four electrons here to cancel out the amount of protons. You should know the rules for Bohr models. We can hold up to two electrons in this first energy level, up to eight in the second, and up to eight in the third energy level. So again, I'm assuming that this is neutral. So I'm gonna plug in four electrons. You can do this by drawing a circle or a dash. You can use a highlighter tool, which we've done in the past. So I have two in the first. I'm gonna put a third up here and a fourth over here to show that these are unpaired electrons. I think that's important for you to understand when they are paired up versus when they're not. Again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go back and review my Bohr model YouTube tutorial. So now I'm going to assume that the atom is stable, or in other words, it has achieved its full octet. So think of my lunch table analogy that we've used in class. Would this neutral atom of beryllium prefer to lose two electrons or gain six? Which would be easier? In other words, if you and a friend are sitting at a lunch table, would it make more sense for you to go join those six people or six people to go join you? Hopefully you have come to the conclusion that it'd be easier for beryllium to lose its two outermost electrons. So let's go ahead and figure out how many electrons I would have in a stable configuration. Protons is still going to be the same. Remember, if it doesn't have four protons, it's not beryllium. It's still beryllium, so it must have four protons. That's not negotiable. Neutrons, still the same. It's going to be five neutrons, just like it was in the neutral atom. So protons and neutrons don't change here. However, electrons do. If I've lost two electrons, then that must mean that I have a total of two electrons now. And yes, beryllium will achieve its octet. It will have its outermost energy level full. So if I lost two, I initially had four, that must mean I have two remaining electrons. And then from here, I'm gonna draw my Bohr model. I still have, I'm gonna go back up here to my drawing tool, four protons, the nucleus has not changed, five neutrons and one, you can do a dash if you want, if that's easier, two electrons at 12 o'clock here, if you want to think of this like a clock face. And then finally, I want to draw my uh, element symbol, which is BE, and then the overall charge. Please excuse my messy handwriting. I'm using a mouse. So to figure out the charge, we have four protons or four positive charges. I had initially four electrons. However, so start off as neutral. However, to become stable, that beryllium atom must lose two electrons to have an overall charge of two plus. So I'm going to go to my eraser tab and erase this second electron. So my overall charge, again, it's got to be two plus. I'm going to put that up here. And I hope that helps you out with your remaining questions on this slide.